Hey everyone, and welcome back. We're gonna get right to it and get into the meat of things. So we're gonna be talking about where it all begins, right here in the brain. Because the brain is actually our commander in chief. It's in charge of everything. So there are billions and billions of nerves in our body. And this is what a nerve looks like. And they're all interconnected all over in the brain and all throughout the body. And this is a really cool picture of all the billions of, of nerve fibers that are connected to each and every nerve that are interconnected to many other nerves, all your organs, all your blood vessels, all your skin, everywhere. And so the hormone process, the production of hormones begins in the brain. So I want you to focus right here in this little section of the brain is a blow up right here. And this little green section is called the hypothalamus. And that's where it all begins because the hypothalamus communicates with a little pea-sized uh, gland called the pituitary gland. Here's a blow up of the, of the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. So this is the hypothalamus and hormones are going down this little stalk and stimulating the pituitary gland. All right, and then the pituitary gland releases hormones and talks to the rest of the body. Here's an MRI of the brain, and you can see that little pituitary gland right there. Where's the hypothalamus and the MRI? Right here. So here's the hypothalamus right there. Here's this little stalk, and here's the pituitary gland that releases more hormones to talk to the organs and the body. So the brain communicates with the organs through hormones and something also called neurotransmitters, which are also hormones. And when the brain communicates to an organ, such an, as in sex hormones, the ovaries, the ovaries then communicate back to the brain. So that's called a feedback loop. Lots of feedback loops in the body. And this is the feedback loop system for sex hormones. Now there's other hormone glands all in the body and that's called the endocrine or hormone system. And these are the different organs in the body that are part of the hormone or endocrine system. We're gonna talk about all of those in the future. Okay, so 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, the brain is communicating to our organs. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the brain is going nonstop, our organs are going nonstop in this feedback loop. Now, our age actually affects the levels of hormones that our organs can produce. You, I hope, saw the very first video. If you didn't, please go back to that. Such an important video. And our age, there's a graph on there that shows what happens to our hormones as we get older. And many different hormone glands are part of this brain and endocrine system that affect how we feel and the ovaries are just one. So here, breasts and kidneys and ovaries, well, we don't have testicles, hopefully. Thyroid, bone, skin, adrenal cortex, there's many, many glands. And it's like an orchestrated symphony that is going on in our body all the time with brain hormones, sex hormones, thyroid hormones, adrenal hormones that sit on top the kidneys, and our gut, our GI hormones. So it's this balance and this optimization of hormones that is the key to making us feel great. When that's off, 
we don't feel so good. The true symphony of hormones. And that's what we're going to talk about next, the symphony of hormones. See you soon. Bye-bye.